A month ago, we told you about flooding and sewage backups in Youngstown. Weeks later, many people still don't know when they'll be able to get their repairs for their basements. First News reporter Samantha Bender spoke with one family today who is dealing with the financial and literal mess of sewage backup that has been in their basement. On especially rainy weeks like this one, more rain means more potential for flooding. Some contractors say they've seen up to six to eight inches of standing water in some homes. Typically, it, we've been seeing lately is a lot of sewer backups from the, the city drains getting flooded so high that it it pushes that sewage back up into people's homes. Mary now and her husband tell me their basement on Ottawa Drive was destroyed for this exact reason a few weeks ago. I went down to the basement to do some laundry and I stepped in a lot of water that went up not quite to my ankles, but it was kind of shocking. Michael Del Garza with Ranger Recovery and Restoration tells me the biggest issue is insurance won't cover the cost. This leaves customers like Mary and her husband to pay contractors out of pocket. How am I and my husband going to pay for the contractors to come and do the repairs when we haven't paid the recovery people yet? Mary says her and her husband are frustrated that their insurance claims were denied. To find out you're stuck not only with the danger, not only with the unhealthful ramifications of it all, but now you're stuck with a huge bill. She says she doesn't know when they'll be able to fully repair the basement due to the financial hit they've already taken. There are issues that we have in everyday life beyond even everyday life. This happens and it's, it's devastating. Michael De La Garza tells me with so much rain, it's a good idea to have an extra battery in your sump pump in case of a power outage. In Youngstown, Samantha Bender, WKBN 27 First News.